Hello, this is Tess Taylor, and I'd like to welcome you to uh, the gaming element of my course, which is uh, second in my series of leadership training and development courses. This course is called Leading a Highly Engaged Remote Team, and it is geared for uh, leaders who have been thrust into the role of, of having to lead all their people remotely. Um, so they're traditional managers and leaders, and now due to COVID or other uh, factors, they're now leading their teams remotely or from you know their home offices, and it's it's a challenge in and of itself. So this game is actually just built into my course. You'll find it in lesson three point one, and to give it some context, in that particular lesson we're talking about. Um, training, uh, or I'm sorry, having leaders that are able to take their skills and traits that they already have and adopt them to leading in a modern world while maintaining the engagement levels and productivity of their people. So I'll just run through the game real quick and hopefully you'll enjoy it. So this is Christine. She's the director of a newly remote team, uh, the COVID pandemic caused her company to have to shift gears and so they sent all of her folks to work from home and she has a team and she's a little overwhelmed with having to manage everybody. She worries that she doesn't have what it takes. So in the uh, process here, we'll just go to the next arrow to continue. And Christine wonders, you know, does she have what it takes to use her existing leadership skills? And how does she know she can still be an effective leader? So we'll click next here. And in this mini game, uh, I asked the participants to, you know, just give Christine a helping hand. Uh, now these are the people that will be taking this are already leaders themselves or they're, you know, seasoned managers and they are, um, they come with their own knowledge and backgrounds. And so they, they should be able to handle this pretty easily. So, um, in Christine's story, she wants to maintain a highly engaged remote team and she's struggling. Uh, so because she never sees her team that often, uh, it's difficult for her. So in the next section, we'll help Christine identify transferable leadership skills so she can see that she's actually making real progress. So this little mini game is, um, ask you to think about what are traditional or moder modern leadership traits. And so I ask the uh, participant to just review the images that represent leadership traits and skills, um, drag each one to her computer screen if it's something useful in a modern world. And then when you're done, you just click submit. Um, the icons kind of shift around, they're, they're kind of random, but you, I put the, uh, the meanings here so that you could um, better understand it. So, you know, employee recognition, that's actually a really important thing for a uh, modern leader to do quite often. Um, you know, they want to motivate their people um, and to gain respect, they need to give respect. Um, managers are not supposed to take over things, but they are there to facilitate. So I did have that put in that. So I'm not really sure about problem solving because, you know, employees can do that themselves. So let's just see if I have the right answers. And I just click on the check mark. Oh, you got some of the responses, but give it another try. All right. So I give the user a couple different tries. I get, I think they get several tries and they may say, Oh, well maybe this doesn't belong here. You know? So, well, I thought problem solving didn't belong there. So I'm going to put that. And oh, I still got it wrong. So, you know what? I'm going to put all the things on our screen because when you think about it, um, all of these skills are important and traits to have uh, for a leader that's moving into a remote role. So I'll see if all these work. Oh, Eureka, it's correct. And so now we will move on to the next section. Um, I expanded my scenario a little bit more upon the recommendation of several of my peers in my class this week. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. So 
you know, basically it says, thanks for helping her out. Um, now she can leave with confidence. Okay, so here's the extension. So it's Christine's job to keep her remote team engaged and motivated. So, um, and that's a big challenge. So I thought, well, let's just play a fun little game um, to test your knowledge. So I click next and the game starts. And there's some fun little music. I hope you enjoy the music. It's called Ask the Boss. And as you can see, it is, um, you know, pretty much like a um, Jeopardy style game. And you ask the boss, you know, these, these are questions that you would ask. Uh, click on each of the buttons to answer a multiple choice question. If you answer it correctly, you get points added. And if you don't, you don't get any points. But as the question, the points get higher, the question is harder. So I had some categories, you know, that I thought were good for um, leaders to have leadership, general leadership topics, technology topics, and engagement. So we'll just kind of go through the game and uh, play it real quick. And again, there will be some music and some noise, so I'll be prepared for that if you want to turn your volume down. So, you know, when should leaders touch base with remote employees? And I thought, mm, as needed. <laughs> applause, applause. And let's see, here's another one. What word describes employee engagement? I um I wanted to make this harder because you know it's the next level, but I would say you know maybe happiness is the right answer. Oh, so the actual answer was motivated. So I'll just uh, run through this real quick. Let's see, there's a technology. Oh wait, why is engagement of employees important? Uh, because they're more productive. And uh, there's a technology question here. Okay, what method works well for a remote team to share quick updates? Memos, outdated. Telephone, outdated. Video, yeah, that's pretty modern. And people can do quick updates via video. Gossip, forget about it. <laughs> so, that is the answer. And let's see, we're going to engagement. What's one challenge of remote leadership? Um, you know, hiring can be tough and not having enough resources, time, but motivating people is one of the toughest areas. So that's the answer. I'll pick a tougher one here. What's a sign of disengagement in a remote worker? Um, well, these are all actually good things. Productivity. That's somebody that is actually engaged, interested. They're engaged. Communicative. It seems like they're interested conflicts they're having a lot of conflicts with other people and that's somebody that's just got one foot out the door that's the answers to those so i'm just going to run through these really quick because you do have to go through them all to the uh, let's see i'm just going to run through because i know the answers uh where's this there's a technology question. All right, what leadership skills can help leaders? Coaching is a big one. Uh, communication. How can remote leaders help their teams feel supported? Not sending them to HR. Challenging work, you're not going to feel supported. You're just going to want to stick around. Daily meetings, maybe, but that could be a little bit of micromanagement, too. So let's just say frequent praise. Yeah, there you go. So now the game's done. As you can see, you've got your score now, your final score, and all the questions have been answered. So we'll go to next. And these are all grayed out, too. Oh, well, they're done. So there's your fun little music again. Do your happy dance, and you've got your Ask the Boss. Your score is 2,800 points. So thanks for playing, and click Next. And then it's just a wrap-up, you know. Great job. Now Christine is better equipped to lead a remote team and keep everyone engaged. Thanks for helping her out. So somebody who takes this, you know, they're kind of feeling like they're um, 
mentoring here maybe a little bit. So I think that's that's why it works. 